Tomb Raider, Lara Croft. Let's see the photos first of all. I'm going to show you 16 or 15 photos and I'm going to comment a bit. One of my favorite video game characters and also something that people don't usually speak about and women don't understand, men don't understand. They just throw it there as something, um, whatever. This is the evolution from 1996 to 2013. As you know, 2013 is the last one with the PlayStation 3 era and the PlayStation 4 era. I'm just showing you these photos, first of all. Anniversary is really cool. And some real life photos and the posters from recently and some graphic art. And of course, probably this is my favorite as a woman, as a girl, as a really like proper Lara Croft. So why am I showing you this? You see the evolution? So my favorite, of course, we have the PlayStation 1 era and the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 3. And honestly, I do love the PlayStation, the current era, so from 2013 to 2020. 23 but if i have to choose something it would be tom raider anniversary so like the best from both worlds the previous world was like more polygonal and more like video game type and the recent one which is like more like hollywood tv series type of thing i guess tom raider anniversary the one here in the middle would be the one that uh, properly um describes the best lara crofts so like exactly the one that was inspired in angelina jolie uh, kind of thing so the Tomb Raider anniversary I mean I do love this one I do love the previous ones but this one has the best of both worlds so it still has like the feminine aspects of the previous one but has like something more related to the real world so this is the evolution of the face now I do love the the latest one which is like more realistic but the Tomb Raider and these like the previous ones the exactly the previous ones were really good as well so this is like proper feminism so and people usually speak about oh give examples of feminism or like real femininity lara croft tomb raider this is the representation of real feminism and femininity not the stuff that you see in the news just like we love indiana jones we love nathan, nathan drake we love something as masculine lara croft is purely feminine um and because she's part of video games, I also like this here, so the one in the middle. This one is also really good. I mean, of course, the boobs, the breasts, they look so kind of like very tailored to video game guys of those days. That's why I guess in the in the new in the newer days, she's seen as more like natural, although she still has big boobs in a way, big breasts. That's why anniversary probably is like the best in the middle. So this is like a comparison if you want to pause the picture. Of course, even like in the recent days. The, she's like the 18 year old or 19 year old Lara Croft and she's still like no because obviously that's probably why she looks smaller because the the other Lara Crofts are more mature but I just want to show you the anniversary so this one in my opinion is the representation of what it means to be feminine brave um, independent uh, but also at the same time not um, not a bitch so like feminine independent cool but not to the, to the negative side, you know? It's like, I don't know, it's just like, to keep, pick, and of course, Angelina Jolie was probably the best influence. I was still too young. I mean, she's from the 2001, 2002 era, and I was still too young to understand. Uh, but she did, I mean, and Angelina Jolie was so cool in those movies. I know that you look at her makeup and stuff. And this, don't get me wrong, the Lara Croft of today, they nailed it in the way to represent the reboot of... Um, of Tomb Raider, right? The beginning, starting, and she's really beautiful, to be honest. I mean, she is definitely a representation of, if you have to choose something to represent the the girls and the women, it would be Tomb Raider Lara Croft, in my opinion. And I don't think any girl or woman, even if she doesn't know about video games, it's like a cosplayer, if she doesn't know about video games, they would say, yes, Lara Croft is like something nice to look at, something nice to admire, both on the physical and on the intellectual and emotional side so both on the exterior and the interior this is from the anniversary so i really do enjoy this one it has like the both like the best of both worlds um and the best from the the origins and the best from today uh, what we see in the last 10 years of course she, here she's like more mature i think she's like 20 something like late 20s or maybe middle 20s and um, this one is exactly the one before so this is like the best anniversary mo model and this is like the the same the same anniversary model just from a different angle and like less graphics of course you know i mean all the guys we like the the breast thing but uh, that doesn't mean that the current lara croft is not um feminine she is and she's definitely 
she's definitely like the Nathan Drake or the Indiana Jones versions of, of, of today, right? So I do enjoy both sides of things and the evolution. And from a graphic art style, like this again is what would it would be like a proper feminine type. So people show um, in uh, in uh, music and movies of today um, how a woman should be like. In my opinion, and I guess the the opinion of many, Lara Croft would represent women, and and like in the proper way of saying, and without taking anything from the male side in negative or like uh, in a bad way, but it would be like complementary. So men and women complement each other. So like Lara Croft would be the perfect type of woman in many ways. So like both on the physical and on the intellectual, on the emotional and on the real world aspects of things. So, and also how brave she is. So the purpose of this video, not really, I just wanted to actually admire um, uh, Lara Croft. I mean, for me, uh, she was a good influence, um, just the way that in, in like Nathan Drake or like other male um, characters were an influence, and people just say, "Oh, there's not enough um, good talk about women. M women are misrepresented, especially like in every sector." So, in my opinion, if there's something to represent good about women and a model, it would be Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, and um, she doesn't get like the 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 awesomeness or the honor that she would deserve in my personal opinion so that's why i wanted to actually show this and um also represent that she should be the one shown everywhere even in schools even like in conferences even in in all these like meetings that they do about femininity and feminism she should be the one uh put out there because she represents the good things about being a, wo a woman in, in many ways and not referring to the guns no it's just referring if for those of you who understand and who know what Lara Croft represents and Tomb Raider especially the reboot as well and then I mean let's be honest any guy normal guy would be delighted to have a girlfriend like Lara Croft let's be honest so and even the movie the movie in my opinion is underestimated the real action movie and uh, the, the latest games are also misunderstood. But that's probably just because Lara Croft started in the 90s, just after the 2D era. And of course, her first model was um, not like the one you see there, because that's the remaster. The first Lara Croft was just polygonal and stuff, but for those days, it was brilliant. But then they did the remaster, and of course, she she definitely looks like a sex appeal kind of thing. But she's still like sex appeal in, 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 in the good way of the word. Um, in the later versions and even in the latest version of today in 2013 um, I mean I still find this one way better or like uh, this one way better but this one the the latest ones they're not nothing to to um, to say in a negative way about so let's finish the video with this because like it would be like the most the closest you can get to, to reality so my respect, and I'm still gonna, every now and then I'm gonna speak about video games in, in a certain way that I like, just because, you know, I, I just enjoy um, chatting about video games and movies and everything else. And in my opinion, um, in today's world, men and women, they separate each other so much because they don't try to understand each other. And people uh, argument that, um, people argue that, oh, video games are a waste of time. You can learn so much from video games, and in my, I would like just give Lara Croft as an example whenever women start getting angry about being misrepresented. I would say just look, look this, she's a model, the model or like the type of person that you can uh, compare yourself to and try to live up to the standard in a way. And she's like so respectable in many ways. Um, so if you have like a hero or like somebody you want to model after, to, after then Lara Croft would be like a very good um, example. Uh, and I'm not saying that, again, I'm not saying that if you have like a, a, a smaller breast, you're inferior. No, it doesn't mean that if you don't have the breast of Lara Croft, uh, you're not good enough. Because like, for example, like I said, that's why I enjoy uh, the Lara Croft of the reboot. I see the, the photo of the reboot, this one. She's perfect. So that's why I, I like the guys who did the design of this because she's not too big or too small. She represents the average in women so that you don't have to say, oh, only women with big boobs are women. No, she represents like a normal average, which any girl can uh, relate to. And of course, if you eat properly and you go to the gym, 
as you should then you can have a good physique as well and of course not leave aside the intellectual stuff the emotional stuff and the brave Lara Croft in Tomb Raider is like I always respect her for being like so brave and for being in a world of men and showing that she can also stand up to the standards so not everything has to be about Indiana Jones or Nathan Drake or Batman or like Spider-Man or stuff like that it can be like both ways so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video